If you walk into a shop today and ask for a smartphone, they're going to give you one that runs Android or iOS. So if you want to stand out from the crowd in today's mobile world, you need to opt for something a little bit different. And this could be it. It's the Meizu MX4 and it runs Ubuntu Mobile. So you're probably familiar with Ubuntu from its desktop software, but this is the mobile operating system. It's been a long time coming, several years actually, but finally you can buy a smartphone and a very capable one at that running Ubuntu Mobile. The question is, would you want to? The answer is, you know what, you might, because it's pretty good. The operating system is completely different visually from what we're used to. There's no big app screens for a start. So you get these, this selection of home screens, I guess, which are called scopes. And scopes provide you with the information you need on a day to day basis. So news, you get the apps that are installed. You get a nearby screen, which kind of speaks for itself, which gives you localized information. And there's also scopes for your for videos and entertainment and for photos stored on the device. The nice thing about this is the gesture control system. So if you want to quick jump to different apps that are installed on the phone, a swipe in from the side and you get this selection of tools. Come out of these and if you just want to go to an open one, slide in from the side and you get a nice long tabbed list of everything that's open. It's quite cool. Lift up from the bottom and you get a complete list of all the apps that are installed on the phone if you want to scroll through those. And a swipe down from the top gives you notifications and a variety of other tools for use on the phone. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's surprisingly simple and using the phone for a day it feels quite natural. The big deal here is if you're an established smartphone user, i.e. you've got friends who all use Android or iOS and a selection of core apps already, you might struggle to find them. There is an app store and there are apps inside. There's a Facebook app, there's a Twitter app, there's an Instagram app. There are others. But if you use something that's not, not unusual, but let's say, for example, you use WhatsApp or WeChat or Hangouts, as a messaging app rather than SMS, you're out of luck. It's simply not there. You search for WeChat and there are no results for it. It's something that may hopefully be cured in the future. I know that it's something that Ubuntu definitely wants to do something about. And we hope so too, because surprisingly, using Ubuntu Mobile feels really natural and a decent alternative to using Android or iOS. If you're happy to live without some of the core apps you may use on an existing smartphone. Smartphone newcomers, and certainly those who like Ubuntu from the desktop, are gonna love playing around with this. It's a really cool operating system, fun to use for a change. The device itself, it's nice. You can see actually here how curved that back panel is. This is a metal chassis, plastic rear panel, and it fits in the hand really nicely. 1080p screen, it's very light, these bezels are also super thin, so the screen takes up most of the front panel. It's a nice smartphone. It's a nice operating system, but to take it on, you're going to have to make some sacrifices if you're used to using an Android or an iOS smartphone. It's a bit of a shame, but if you're daring, give it a try. We think you'll like it. This is a quick look at Ubuntu Mobile on the Mizu MX4.